Yo, hey guys, uh, this is a project that I've been working on on my BMW X5 E70 an upgrade to the stock radio that comes with it so I've removed the center pieces that come on it the center radio, the center um, system display and I've installed a Tesla Model X 17 inch screen on there so it's pretty cool You've got a lot of stuff in there that I really wanted to have. You get your Spotify, you get your Bluetooth and your phone and a uh, radio, a whole lot of things. So let's move in a bit closer and have a look at how it looks and how it performs. Coming right up. So mine's the X5 E70 2009 model. A bit dated as you can see from the steering wheel but with this upgrade I've just bought it from the 2000s into the to the 2020s and don't mind the rough looking edges on the and around here where you supposed to have like something to cover it I'm working on getting some coverings to make sure that it looks really nice and um, stuck so in the edges there I'll make something to cover that. So <clears throat> the main reason I got this is I love my Spotify. As you can see from this, you get your Spotify, you get TuneIn, you get your phone, you get your radio. And it's just amazing. The connectivity is just like that. It's just in a flash. It's just connected to your phone. The other good thing is if you get this, um, they call it an MCU, media control unit from a Tesla. Whatever, I got it from a Tesla that had been in an accident. So I got the the, uh, the MCU and then the cellular um, data uh, module. So when you get yours, make sure you get the cellular data module and the antenna and the GPS antenna as well and the microphone. So in this, you're getting the whole package that comes with the Tesla. So you're getting yourself a good upgrade. So you get the 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 the, the built-in um, audio with your phone and you get the, the 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 cellular it's built in you have don't have to connect to your wi-fi it connects by wi-fi if you want but ideally if you get the cellular module and then the cellular antenna you just put a sim card in there and you get in your car you can even hotspot your passengers how good is that hey eh? so i just love it like it's it's pretty cool and like hot wiring it like to your car you just remove your stock radio the the wires to the speakers are usually in the back of the or the of the x5 so you just find out which speakers which what and then you remove the stock amplifier and you can buy a second amplifier and put it in there and then wire it to the tesla uh 17 inch uh, mcu and the sound is amazing I mean, the responsiveness of this thing is pretty cool. I'll show you in a minute. So, like, you can increase the volume. I can increase the volume there. You see, all the, all the controls work. Of course, I'd want to have the seat controls here, but I don't think that's possible at the moment. If someone's got enough time to play around with it, I'm sure they can do something that will sort that issue out. And then... Um, you got your car controls here where you got your well this is this is like something that Tesla had um, so you got your like there's nothing much there that you can use maybe the speakers you can change the speakers the, the settings for the speakers it's up to you and you can also change the the display like if you want to have it like all white and night or whatever you want and let's have a look at the radio like I can't play anything on Spotify now because of YouTube copyright things so I'm gonna go right ahead and put it onto the radio and let's see what we can get to play so you get internet radio on-demand radio and I just put the volume down a bit Otherwise, it's going to be a bit loud. So,
So getting this like from a wrecking yard, like most people don't use on the Teslas if they have accidents. Most people don't use the, um, they don't use the, the MCUs. They only use the batteries and the motors. No one's really concerned about the, 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 in, the, the screens and the cars. So you'll be good to get yourself a bargain, you know? And mine was pretty, wasn't too expensive. I got mine for about maybe a thousand Australian. And I'm sure if you throw in other things in there, it'll excite you back about a thousand five hundred Australian. But if you're looking at getting a new radio, you a new decent radio with all the things I've mentioned, like internet radio, like in, integrated SIM card, internet connectivity, Spotify, Bluetooth, phone um, phone pairing, that will set you back a fair bit. So you're better off like doing something as unique as this, something that will like make your car a bit better. I mean, there's a bit of work to get done with setting up nice and right. But the good thing about these is they're, they're old cars now. Then they don't cost much. So if you break something, just go to the records and look online and you can buy and replace it. Anyway, uh, let's look at these radio stations. I think my phone... All right, there we go. Hmm. So I'm just going to put a radio station on there. Sorry about this. There you go. Crazy what's happening in the U.S. right now, eh? Yeah, sorry about that. Zooming in and out. The camera's doing something there. It's trying to figure out what's going on. But anyway, we are good. So yeah, so you get your controls there, which are good. And I want to show you something. So I want to show you something. So you get your navigation as well with this. So your navigation would be. Whoa, okay. Your navigation would be in this screen. Pretty easy to use. So if we come up onto this arrow here, so that's your navigation. So as you can see, if I bring it up full screen, so you got your navigation, it's full screen at the moment. You can have turn by turn instructions on this nice, gorgeous 17 inch display. But if you want, you can actually, so this is powered by Google, none of that Garmin stuff. If you want, you can actually make it split screen. So you can also have your music playing at the same time. So the way to do a split screen is just on the bottom left corner. It's like that. So you get your radio now at the bottom and your navigation there, which is good. So you don't have to leave any of those. And you get your Spotify there, or you can make the Spotify the full screen. There you go. So you got full screen there. Beautiful. Fantastic. So this is about it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you've got some ideas and want to do something with your car, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And this is pretty, it, it, if you invest the time in it, it's not that hard for me to hook this up, find the power wires and the speaker wires on this media control unit I went on East Pairs and I got the manual for the um, Tesla Model X model that I had this from and looked up the wiring diagrams and found the ports that have the power and the speakers so you can do the same you can head over to emanuals.com and get the manual for that car you can also get the manual for your car, your BMW, and find out which wires are for the speakers and what controls what, so you don't mess it up too much. But it's pretty easy, not too hard. And if you don't like how big it is and just taking over everything and you don't want to move your controls, like the hazard warning and the, and the, and the, and the, and the 
um, and the other buttons, you can actually get the Model 3 MCU, which is a Model 3 screen. It's a bit smaller, but it's a bit compact, and um, you can do a lot more with that. But at the moment, I couldn't find any because there's not much on the market at the moment. But if you find yourself one, that will be a good bargain. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, cheers.